Oh yeah, great. Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel for vlog number, I ain't got nothing is it up, vlog number six. And I am signing off with a few workouts. I've done a ab core workout, 15 minutes of mad fit, because you know by now I literally love her workouts at home. And now I'm doing an extra 10 minute booty workout, so I'm gonna do a time lapse for you to see what is going on. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, there's so much new content going out. If you saw vlog number five, you will see that I did at home workouts. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave it in the eye for you and down below. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on with this video and start a workout, so let's go. <laughs> So I'm going to do a little bit of yoga and then make some lunch but probably won't make that with you because I keep eating literally the same thing. If you watch my other vlogs you'll see that I literally love vegan, either chickenless chicken, vegan corn or the ham, the, 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 the corn ham, I literally love it with vegan cheese in a sandwich thing. And, oh, so good. What did I have yesterday? I had something different. I had I had noodles yesterday. I had that. And yesterday I started doing these sort of workouts outside. Honestly, I felt so much better for doing it. My, it's really helping like mental state doing workouts at home. So obviously we can't go to the gym, which is a bummer because I literally love the gym. Well, Adam loves it more than what I do, but I do love going to the gym. It just it makes you feel so much better and more active and just really helps up here. So if you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that I literally didn't really have a good week that week. I, there's a few days where I was just like... New. so this time i feel a lot better and yeah let's see what else i'll do today i also have a haul another haul that i need to film this weekend i've got an, another in the style package i've got a morphe order and then i've got my foundation that i'm waiting to come which is taking forever i also have like some pieces from femme Lux. i might do a femme Lux haul actually because you guys might enjoy that honestly one of my favorite brands femme Lux. i work with them and they just literally love their quality of clothing and really love their clothes if you follow me for a while you've noticed on instagram that i literally wear so much of their pieces so yeah i'm gonna uh get this booty band off because um, my legs are kind of stuck together and crack on with the day currently uploading tonight the video of vlog number five i'm pretty sure so that's gonna go up and i'm gonna go make some lunch because i'm actually starving lunch is served a bit of a weird concoction i know got my new fave water crust the pizza express one so they're so good if you've seen them last vlog you would like the uh last one ones i tried out and i've got the last of my vegan lemon drizzle cake some grapes a bit of salad a bit of crackers with hummus because that's actually really nice sea salt crackers and then a vegan ham and cheese toastie i'm so annoyed right now I've been uploading my video for like three hours and now I found out that it's missing 10 minutes off it so now I've got to re-upload it again. Great, MacBooks literally being the bane of, bane of my life right now. So I'm going to do a little bit of skincare because I need to do that. So I've just done a face mask with this Airborium Bamboo Waterlot mask. Very nice, love it. Hello no, darling. I'm going to put some Liqueur eye cream on. This is a vegan and cruelty, re cruelty free range that they had in, so I'm gonna give that a go. Never actually used it before. Skin is feeling tight after. I just had a shower and dried my hair and the hair dryer makes my skin like feel really tight. And I've got the same brand liqueur day cream, which is the vegan friendly pot. There's the two of them. Love them. I've even got the matching face wash. She's use what's on this. Might as well. Can't waste it. There's not really a scent to it. It's strange quite thick actually that cream it's quite it's not like it's i definitely prefer like the hydro glow hydro glow no the glam glow and hydro water burst thing water burst that's what it is i literally love this there's hardly anything left though so i'm trying not to it smells like terry's chocolate orange i literally love how their products always smell like that i think i need to finish that off actually there's only a tiny bit in there so i need to probably finish off that next but i wanted to try that vegan stuff with you Shall see how I get on with it. It's very, very creamy, like thick cream. Something new though. Put my favourite lip balm on. And some hand cream. And then good to go. And then have the hand cream on. Love how matches my nails. That was a bit too much. Oh. I'm going to re attempt to upload my video. See if it works, because that's really annoyed me. It is now the evening and I am on Zara. Oops. I've never actually Zara. What? 
I've never actually shopped on Zara before because I've been um, putting together a blog post of like all the sales that are going on for bank holiday. So if you want to know what sales are going on, they might still be happening by then. So I'll leave the link down below for the blog post. So I'm making an order on Zara. I found some really nice lilac pieces. I'm literally obsessed with the colour right now. I really want some lilac eyeshadow, but I think, don't think I've got any lilac eyeshadow. I've got a few things off there. I'm just about to buy it. Probably do a Zara haul if you guys are interested in that. That's what I've been doing. And I've had to re-upload the whole video that I was doing earlier. So that's annoying and it still hasn't finished. That's annoying because the Wi-Fi is poo here. Oh yeah, I apologise for the fact that like it keeps blurring in and out. I'll put it on night mode but the camera doesn't seem to be picking on my face very well. But yeah, I'm going to see you in the morning so I need to stop itching my nose on camera. <laughs> it's gross. But I'll see you in the morning anyway. Morning everyone. So this morning I've been sat outside working which has been absolutely bliss being outside. I need to do that more often. So I need to stay that's for sure. So I, I've been looking on Boohoo this morning. How bad is this shopping addiction getting? This is actually ridiculous. I've got another order coming from Femlox. Didn't buy that, that's a gifted collaboration. So if you want a Femlox haul, I've actually got enough to do a Femlox haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that, because I'm not actually sure, because I actually really love that brand. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of it, and I'd like to share it with you, because I actually love their clothes. So I've actually, the reason why I'm looking down there is because like, there's like bags of stuff here to do hauls with that I've bought and I've just decided to do a collective haul or something at the weekend. Well, I'm going to stop rambling because I'm going to get some food. Also, I had pizza for dinner last night and I've currently fried in sweet corn and oh my god, I'm obsessed with sweet corn. Literally, I'm obsessed with it. I'm craving it all the time. It's so good, especially barbecue sauce, a bit salt. Oh yeah. I told you I'd made that Azara order didn't I, last night. Where's my phone? Oh no way. Okay, I've got that. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think what I've got to, oh that was a bit close, I'm trying to think what I've got to tell you that there was something I was supposed to say, but I forgot. I'm going to show you what I've got on my wish list on Boohoo though, I need to show you it because I found a really nice jacket. I don't really know why I actually like this, but I don't know if you can see, but it's a pink jacket and then they've also got one in lilac. I don't know if it's me, but I don't normally like these. I don't know what's going on with my style, I feel like it's changing throughout lockdown, but lilac is literally my new favourite colour. So, new things that are going on, I'm obsessed with lilac. And sweet corn. Yep, I'm gonna leave that there. So I've decided to make a bit of an effort so I stop feeling poop. So I've just tried on this Femlux dress. Oh my god, I love it. But there's like one thing about it. You can see everything if you catch my drift. So if it had like the same material as it did, at the, well it's the same material anyway, but if it had like this thickness at the back, I think it'd be fine. Such a nice dress. I think I'm just gonna have to get some shapewear or something that's nude and wear it underneath and then you wouldn't be able to see. Literally, bra and pants. Not ideal, but it's such a pretty dress. I'm gonna wear it today. I'm wearing a dressing gown over it, so no one sees my bat on. I'm gonna make some lunch now. Time for a workout outside. <laughs> don't even know if you can hear me because the lawnmower is on. Okay, so I didn't even show you my dinner last night. I completely forgot, but if you saw me on Instagram, you would have seen it. I had the fishless fingers. They were actually amazing. Yes, they were so good. They actually tasted like fish. It was insane how the fact that they smelled like them as well. And also I had leftover chip from lunch. And then I had curry sauce and rice. I'm so sorry about the freaking noise. Plan for the day. Film two videos, two haul videos. Apologies for my face. I've literally just done my skincare and I've finished my brightening serum so now I'm on a vitamin C serum I'm just gonna brush my hair and then I'll go back to you makeup done or oh, I'm just watching a bit of Becky Hart her uh, get ready with me video so I've been getting ready whilst watching her so this is the makeup look for today I feel like there's a bit too much blush but then kind of vibe in it at the same time I'm just keep dressed today I'm gonna have some breakfast and then start filming these videos so I really need to get them out of the way to get the, uh, the day done also I was super dark because you know like I said working with literally just this just this one dark shade because the rest of it it's all gone there's nothing there so that is all i've got to work with great this day at adam's room after i film it's ridiculous i make such a freaking mess and i was about to put my uh, lollipop skin on so i was just about to say match my phone case but i took that off I just realized and this is exactly why i always get adam to put my cases or anything on look how spotless that is oh it looks so nice just made a little studio on the floor here so literally it's just a white background in the mirror i've just propped it all with my very tripods 
At first I got Adam to do it, I was like, no, I can't keep him doing this. So I just like clipped it in to here where it like tightens up on both sides. I've done that so I can shoot a few outfits here and so up. More content shot. I'm very, very happy. I've just shot four outfits in the space of like half an hour, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. They're all like Femlux pieces. As you saw, I put that sheet up. God, I didn't realise how good the picture, pictures, the, the pictures, the pictures would turn out. But I need to do that more often. Why did I not think of this before lockdown? Like my creative juicive, ju juicive, juicy. I just can't talk. What the hell? I'm not getting enough human interaction. So my creative juices just weren't flowing before lockdown like they were but not to the maximum and still not the maximum now but still like i'm thinking more of like things to shoot and how i want it to look i love that look that popping in my cheek woo so yeah i'm quite happy that i've got that done i don't know how to shoot the rest of the pieces though because i'm wearing a green dress and i don't know where to shoot that i might do it in the gut picnic do a picnic in the garden i think that's gonna be quite cute with all the vegan food just vlogging that i'm in a zoom call for a blog yeah if you want to say hello we're just in a quiz night. Right, okay, general knowledge round. So I'm now off the Zoom call. Makeup is off. And I got cut off mid-call. And I was so annoyed because we literally just got to the end of the quiz. We were doing a blogger pub quiz with Kat and the lovely bloggers. So I'm good here that I didn't get to see the end of it. But it's been running from half seven. So it's been on a while. But I've been enjoying it. I'm really annoyed that the bloody internet just crashed on me. And it just completely cut out. And I couldn't get back into it. So I was like, damn it. So I was getting legs. I don't get up again at half four. So we do need to go to bed soon anyway. So other than that, I'm going to see you in the morning with this very shiny face of mine but I can bowl but I do have a hair I promise I'll see you in the morning, morning. morning everyone so today's to do list is a fair few things I've got my uh, list up on my phone I've got to share my new video blog post I need to edit the vlog no I need to edit the vlog I need to edit Sunday's video which is a testing new makeup video I feel like my face is really shiny today I've got like vitamin C serum that I put on look at my forehead so I need to have some breakfast because I haven't done that yet and it's like quarter to eleven. I've just been like, I've just had a shower, wash my hair, it's nice and fresh. Put this leopard print dress on and I'm just doing a bit of work. And I need to get up and have some breakfast, like I said. And edit majority of the day. So I'll probably sit outside and edit the majority of the day today and then have a workout later. Possibly bake something, but I might do that tomorrow. I think I'm gonna, I've literally got so many things to edit because I filmed two videos yesterday. I shot loads of content yesterday, but I've edited that already. It's literally so easy, just taking a photo on my phone and then editing it straight away. It's so much easier. I've got content ready for like literally the next two maybe three weeks actually i've got more to shoot i've got some femlux pieces to shoot still i've got at least two or three outfits to go yet with that i need to film a wig or is it i've literally so much stuff to do but i don't want to swamp myself with stuff though that's what i've got to do list so i don't do too much also very like natural makeup today is a little bit of concealer mascara and just some brow gel in my eyes and a very glow we just finished editing my testing new makeup video that will be up by the time this vlog is up actually because i'm posting it tomorrow so i'll link it in the eye view which episode it pops up or i'll link it down below that's testing out the anastasia beverly hills cream contour palette that was in my cohorted haul haul in boxing even in april so if you want to check that out just been sat here editing my what's in my bag video okay time to make a pizza so in the aldi magazine that anna's mom had lying around I saw that they got pizza, how to make the dough in there, so I was like, maybe I'll make that, because I was going to make a tortilla one on a fajita, but this looks a lot better, so I'm going to make the proper dough. I put vegan cheese on it, and maybe vegan ham or vegan chicken, don't know, we'll see what I'm going to make. Okay, so because I haven't got a full pack of vegan ham really, I have to have a mixture of vegan ham, and well, it's it's hamless, ham free and chicken free, chickenless. Chicken free slices and ham free slices, that's what they're called. I absolutely love them, they're so tasty. And then I'm going to slice up this to make like little grates, grated bits of it, or maybe grated, that might be a better idea. Then I've got some tomato puree and some plain flour, and I'm going to add a, so it says strong white plain flour, 760 grams, and then two teaspoons of salt, and then 500 millilitres of warm water. So let's get cracking. <music> to do it Alan's got the dough going and whilst he's doing that I am making the paste and where that come from 
So I normally put oregano because I used to make the pita bread pizzas, but mixed herbs are going to have to do. And garlic granules, tomato puree, and a bit of water. So let's see if this actually works. Babe's got it all ready, and it's not even like too thick, it's quite nice. So I'm gonna grate the cheese and then put the paste on. It's quite thick, I've done like quite a lot. So if I've got anything left over, I'll just make some pizza pizza bread. Pizza pizza pizzas. Got my cheese that I'm chopping up now. But because I haven't got any grated cheese, I'm gonna have to do this. Just finally chop it up. <laughs> still super hot actually leave it in the oven for quite a while because the dough is actually really thick it is, it's super hot yeah dough is definitely a bit too thick ow <laughs> reverse temp not bad not bad but prefer it with the real life grated cheese to be honest it's really thick not bad. I was just talking on my phone as well. <laughs> Best day I cut this off before I get copyrighted, but basically just listen to loads of old songs from when I was like 18 on a playlist and reminiscing. Please tell me there's still people out there that like bring me the horizon in 30 seconds to Mars. I used to love them so much. It's come to the point where this is normal for Adam. <laughs> Got a little bit of Phil Collins in there. I'm gonna stop before I get copyright. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh lord, me crap at singing. I love a bit of Phil Collins. <laughs> Phil Collins, what you doing? Having a bit of a disco this evening. Quite enjoying it. It's really uplifting here at the moment. Morning. So we're gonna make some vegan shortbread this morning so I've got my no more egg that I'm gonna melt down to put into it and another bar. So I've got a Pinterest recipe that I'm gonna try out. I shall show you how good does that look. I'll leave the recipe down below. Give me our chocolate and oat milk. I'm gonna get cracking. Cue the time lapse. <laughs> and creamy. I've just added a little pinch of salt, teaspoon of vanilla extract and I'm going to put in 375 grams of plain flour. By the way, what I added in before was 250 grams of non-dairy spread and 130 grams of caster sugar, but I just use normal sugar because I can't bother for caster sugar. Don't notice the difference. Now I'm chopping the Easter egg up. I've chopped up one of these in there as well and then I'm going to chop up this and this and then all the chocolate in there now but I always put gloves on because the one else getting ruined so there's such nice texture you know I can't wait to eat they're all ready to go in the fridge and then once they're all done I'm gonna roll them out and put them into squares I'm so excited to try these got some on the tray already I've got the rest of it out of the fridge so I'm gonna work with this now and roll it all out and then get them on the tray and they are all done they look so yummy this is a bit hot though I literally made a mountain of them Hello, so I just watched Al Darby's new video on losing a moment. Oh my god, I literally just bore my eyes out. Oh my god, I shouldn't have just picked the camera up there. I literally didn't want to cry. All I want to do is hug my mum now. Such a lovely video. So brave to have put that on the internet though. Sorry to bring the tears, but oh, that was just so emotional. Brought myself together. I'm going to edit a blog post now. Honestly, that video really pulls my heart. You know when you sit there with like a lump in your throat? The whole time, 45 minutes, I sat there like that. It's, just, it's hard, isn't it? I literally feel for her so much. Anyway, I'm going to try and breathe. Carry on. What a beautiful sight. Not. I've got the ginseng shot um, 
mask on. Sorry if I'm actually scaring you right now, I'm actually scaring myself. We're just going to watch a little bit of Matt's Fitness. So I got my little outburst of cry earlier, <laughs> it just kind of hit me. But I'm going to watch this and I shall probably see you in the morning. Because definitely not looking like this. Bye. Good morning everyone, it is Monday and I've been awake since like 5am. Don't even ask why I can go back to it's so dry, like I'm definitely not drinking enough, especially in the night. I don't know how I always end up slouching down in the bed when I've been sat on my laptop for like ages and I've been editing. I've scheduled Sunday video which will be up after this which is a what's in my bag video so look out for that this Sunday. And I've been sharing, oh my god my voice is so croaky, I've been sharing last night's video, I've been editing this vlog. What else have I been doing? I've been sorting out my Instagram photos and the captions and things. It's been very productive to be honest but now I really need to get up. I've done my skincare, I've had a wash, got up, got dressed, my clothes yesterday. And my hair is literally like a lion again, always. So I'm going to get up and have some breakfast and have some free from, no, they're not Rice Krispies, they're Cocoa Pops. Really love them. They're really nice. They're, they are milk free, gluten free and something else free. But yeah, they're really nice. So I'm starving. Go, go get a bowl of that and I shall check in with you. Currently watching Mr. Karen for a change with this lovely lady. His bummy accent is having me in tears. I <laughs> freaking love it. Thank you. Apologies for the fact that I literally look bold right now. I'm just eating a shortbread and oh my god. These are so tasty, honestly. If you have the time, I'll leave the recipe down below. Definitely give these a go. The vegan chocolate. Absolutely banging. Mmm. It's so good. Hi everyone from Future Me. I'm just making some pizza pizza bread. So I'm just getting two out that I picked up from. I think it was Morrison's. And I'm just going to put the leftover pasta sauce onto the pizza breads and just smear it everywhere. I like to put the oven on to about 200 degrees. Now I'm putting on some VO Life cheddar cheese, I think it's cheddar cheese, and I'm just ch chopping it up into little bits and pieces because I don't have any grated cheese as I'm trying to use what I've got in the fridge. Chop, chop, chopping away, like a do. Now I'm going to put it all over the pizza just to make sure that it covers all the sauce. The thing is with this cheese, it doesn't melt very good, that's the only problem which you will see afterwards. Now I'm going in with the vegan chickenless slices, just going to chop a few bits up just to put all over the pizza breads. Just trying to use up what we've got in the fridge so I don't have to pick up anything else. Um, well, basically not wasting any food. I'm just taking some cheese off and putting the little bits of chickenless chicken underneath the cheese so that it melts all nice. Now I'm having a little bit of a munch. So now I'm going to go in with some pineapple chunks. I'm just draining off the juice and putting a few little chunks all over the pizza breads. And eating some again. Now I'm going to pop them in the oven at about 200 degrees and leave them for about 45 minutes and then they are all done! And they are all done! They're a little bit burnt on the edges but I need to scum them a little bit longer because this is a wee bit wet still so I'll get them a little longer and they look so yummy! Oh my god! Okay, work day is done. Now I... well, now the fact that I've been in bed all day and it's like almost 4 o'clock I'm gonna get up and do some yoga. Obviously I am dressed and washed and everything, but do some yoga, get a little bit active, go for a walk. Cause we do a workout as well, because I really should do that, so I'll probably do that next. So this is what dinner is tonight. I absolutely am obsessed with these because since I had the cottage pie from Asda, the lentil one, they don't sell it anymore, so I had to go with this one. I really want to make my own and I'm gonna have it with some veg, which is over here. And I've just been sorting out my little treat bag. I decided that I'm gonna use these with some baking. Look at that breath in some baking things just to use them up saves wasting them these go out of date in july so i thought i'd use them christmas sprouts up and then maybe make like a lotus like i don't know like snack balls or something that might be a good idea put them in my little cupboard that i have here got lots of lots of food in there last a minute i'll tell you about these 
Cocoa Snaps. These are what I was on about the other day. These are really nice. And they didn't last me very long. They're not very big. And also, I think I've mentioned these before. These are really nice. The vegan cookies. Use a lot of flour. They've baked a lot. Also love these from Lidl. The sea salt crackers. I've just been watching Mr. Cohen's Lidl haul. And I'm like, oh my god, the Lidl. And dinner is served. Good morning, oh. everyone. I'm in my cute pink loungewear. It is not the morning, it is the afternoon. It's actually R3. So I didn't even pick the camera up today because I thought, you know what, I'm going to end it here. I've had a shower. I did a yoga. I did a yoga. Did some yoga. I hurt my back. So not doing any more exercise today. Don't want to make it worse because it friggin' hurt. I did like a butterfly pose where like you bend your legs and you pull them into the middle of you. What? <laughs> so I leaned forward and literally so much like pulled my back I was like nope okay I need to stop I've just not stopped and I've tried to sit up straight I say that and I'm not even sit up straight now <sighs> so I am going to end the vlog I hope you've enjoyed the video please do subscribe if you are new and hit that like button down below and I hope to see you soon and I'll see you in the next vlog bye <laughs>